वेलकम टू किफ कॉन्वर्सेशन टूडे वी हैव अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट वी हैव अ क्राउड फेवरेट किफ लॉयलिस्ट मैरियन बॉर्गो what like how many years have you come consistently now what year is this i came this second year of the festival and of course i fallen in love with uh, your family i mean the way your uh, raja bundela and sushmika mukherji were running this festival because it's not just a film festival it's also a, a karmic festival and most of the guests are not like you know sometimes actors directors they come for their ego for the press for all that here all the people i've met are always linked to the cosmic force and okay they are artists but they want really to give something from themselves and to try to improve the world and and make a gift to humanity so i really met wonderful people here and i'm very very grateful to to this festival again this morning i can tell you i was taken by uh, sudhir mishra to um, to a temple at 5 o'clock in the morning and of course it was to make offerings to shiva and after we went to the jain temple and all that so you know to mix art and to be linked to the cosmic force it's exceptional that's the reason i'm in kajirao <laughs> Great. How, how are you so loving and positive? Where do you get this from? Well, maybe when I was young, I was not like that. I think uh, when you reach a certain age and you know that, uh, uh, you know, when you are young, you fight for so many different things. You have your opinion. Yes, anything. but after, you just try to enjoy life and take every minute as it is. And here, let's face it. it's a gift every day because where on earth every night are you going to see so many performances and what i love also about this festival is that uh, the choice of the the music the, the singers it's either very traditional and suddenly very modern mm-hmm. so you know you have the bollywood mix mixed with, with the rap mixed with the very traditional from every part of india and so many so many different artists it's just amazing so every night i'm like a little girl <laughs> going <laughs> to the theater <laughs> except it's a little bit cold so i wrap myself with plenty of a shawl and then it's pure magic wow since you spoke about the fact that now you've become much lighter and you know you're less opinionated with age mm. if there was one advice generally that you would like to give people who are my age what would that be well don't waste a minute don't think of the future live now live now but that's something i don't have to teach you because it's something i learned from the indian people you are in fact very much optimistic and look everybody smiles to each other if they don't fight <laughs> but uh, the first reaction of people is to smile to you so just be positive and the more positive vibration you have and the more good things will come to you very nice that's absolutely true yeah what do you think about what's the difference between the culture in khajrao and the culture from where you come from front well i will say we became a bit like the americans who have tried to change the world is that time is money and of course money is very important all over the planet but uh, if you are not linked as i say to mm. the gods what's the point if it's just money 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 it's money it's only finite and then when you're gone that's yes, over yes exactly so No once again here you you have this deeper things yeah so you think that's the most fundamental difference that yes. indian people are somewhere more curious about what's after all this is done yes yes and it's like to give you an example every night after the shows we are all together mixed with the actors the directors all these people and every night they speak about it's not religion but they speak about you know the ramayana the mahabharata the, the, they they are just all the time 
they have this reference Correct. while us uh, mm, less no, I'm sure France has great literature itself but I, I understand what you mean in terms of um, cultural discussions that happen after the show and mm. you get to meet so many people mm. and so much knowledge that, that's what we try to do with KIF. Um, for the people of Khajrao, we'd like them to experience seven days. And it's not technically, like it is a film festival, but we try to do different things as well. Yeah. Whereas we showcase Khajrao to the world and yeah. then yeah. we showcase uh, I, the I know Khajrao. someone has recorded it, but I think it was on a phone. But it was two nights ago when uh, Maka uh, can, Ma- Ma- uh, Maka, uh, sang and she was absolutely exceptional. And there was this beautiful moment where we were all madly in love with her. And then uh, uh, Despande um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also with So Funny uh, started. And we all came back together at the hotel and we stayed before going to dinner. We were about 10 of us. And what is so wonderful about you, um, I'm very bad with all their names, but the wonderful actor who is also born in 47. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So all of them, Vishnu, Vishnu, Vishnu they, they have the same uh, reference. Correct. So they started to, st- to start one line and the other one was the other one and the other one. And you know, it was a poetry just jumping from one lips to another. It was fantastic. And then suddenly I felt a little bit jealous. So <laughs> I started uh, saying something from Corneille. You know, I played many parts and I started to, to speak to this part in French say, Puisque pour t'empêcher de courir au trépas, ta vie et ton honneur sont de faibles appas si jamais je t'aimais. And this was, you know, the same reason that them. So he started to answer to me in Hindi oh. and I was answering to him in French. It was Super. beautiful. Suddenly there were no, no frontiers. Wonderful. <laughs> that energy must have been so yes, wonderful. Yes, right? I know someone has recorded it, so you should, you should I'll, watch I'll it. I'll definitely check it out. Well, where, did your, um, where did your journey with India begin? When, when was the first time you came here? Alors, in fact, the first time I came in 77, in Kajurao was in 77 with someone called Michael McIntyre, mm-hmm. who was a director from the BBC, English, I met at a cremation in Bali. And, um, from Bali to like Khajrao? Well, because he was doing a six-part series for the BBC about the Ramayana. Oh, it nice. was called Spirit of Asia. And Michael McIntyre became my husband. But before becoming my husband, he asked me if I wanted to come to India for two months while he was doing the Reiki for the series. And I said, yes, of course. And I discovered India with him. And of course, I had a very, very big shock. And um, I've fallen in love with India. And since I've been coming with him for many years, we, 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 we came very often. Uh, by the way, David, David Attenborough mm-hmm. was the voiceover of the series. Oh. Who also, he became our best man for our wedding. Oh. Yes, it was um, good stuff, wonderful people. <laughs> And so, um, uh, yes, since that time, I've fallen in love with, uh, with India. Wow. And now I've got a house in Goa. So I share my time between France and India. Ideal life, right? Ideal life. Best of both worlds. And the last few days have been wonderful because I just arrived in India, went to the Agra Film Festival. Uh, which is also a very lovely festival because it's by the Taj, so it's fantastic, the Taj Mahal. And uh, then I receive a phone call of my agent in London say, Marianne, uh, uh, I had sent some, you know, now you do the test on video, and they cast me for an American movie for Netflix. Wow. But it was uh, shot in <coughs> Bulgaria. And now, you know, they cast you at the last minute, so I had to organize my trip to fly to Bulgaria. And I flew from Mumbai to Istanbul, Istanbul to Sofia, and uh, voila. Wonderful. So just 10 days ago, I was uh, still in Bulgaria filming. Wonderful. So it's been a great, great adventure and a wonderful year. And, and if you ask me with which uh, Indian director I've been working lately, I've worked with Sandeep Mohan, 
Santi Mine is a young director from Mumbai who unfortunately has never been uh, supported by a big producer. Mm -hmm. So he's doing his film, you know, uh, himself. I mean, with a wonderful crew, but uh, with no big money. And I was in this first film, which was called Love Wrinkle Free. Love about, Wrinkle Free. Yes, about yeah. eight years ago. And this time he has written me a beautiful part in a film called Danny Goes Home. And um, we shot it in Agonda, in south of Goa, during COVID. And it just completed the editing. And this year it went already to two festivals, one in Berlin and the other one um, in Washington, the South Indian Festival in Washington. He won Best Prize in Washington. Best Director? Yes. Best Prize for the film. Wow. And Best Director also in, uh, in Berlin. So we are very happy. And now it's selected at the Madrid Indian Film Festival. That's great. So it's, it's good. The film hasn't been released yet here. And there is a lovely Indian actress in it called Angela Patil, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so um, we are hoping that she's going to have a good release in India. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We wish yeah. you all the best. Hopefully, yeah. we can see it next year here at KIF. That would be wonderful. I That'd hope so. Mm? Thank you so much for your time, Haryan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was a pleasure and it being was, with you here. It was wonderful. And also, I just mentioned the last film I did in France, which is called Tonton Edouard. What does that mean? Tonton Edouard, uh, auntie, uh, when it's uncle. How do you say uncle? Aunt is auntie, but an, an uncle. An, uh, oh, uncle, uncle, Mamaji. Yes, yes. Mamaji, Mamaji <laughs> Edouard. Come here. Yes, but I have a very lovely part. Her name is Marishnu, because they know I'm often in India, uh -huh. so they written me a part which is a bit me here. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Voila. So, thank you. Thank and you And thank so you much. again for inviting me to Kiev. Now it's your festival. And, you have to uh, come every year. 